Hello everyone, welcome to channel Preclinical Pharmacology. Today we are going to discuss about introduction to experimental pharmacology. So what is a pharmacology? So pharmacology is a branch of science which deals with the study of drugs. So pharmacon means a drug or a poison and logos means discourse. It includes history, source, physiochemical property, physiological action, mechanism of action of a drug, as well as absorption, distribution, metabolism, excretion, and therapeutic uses of drug. Now, we will see what is the basic concepts related to experimental pharmacology. So it is a cornerstone of drug discovery process. The pharmacologist is the one who tests it for physiologic activity. A promising compound is investigated by many other scientists and toxicologists, microbiologists, clinicians, but only after the pharmacologist has documented a potential therapeutic effect. So experimental pharmacology is composed of majorly two different disciplines, such as non-clinical, that means preclinical pharmacology and clinical pharmacology. There are divisions of experimental pharmacology, such as experimental medicine, experimental otolaryngology, experimental dermatology, experimental ophthalmology, experimental cardiology, experimental neurology, experimental gastroenterology, experimental urology, experimental respiratory, and other allied experimental studies. So what is the role of pharmacologist? He does screening of drugs for effect and safety, also to develop an ideal animal model. Also, he conduct safe and effective non-clinical and clinical study. So there are many pharmacologists who has played major role in the many discoveries. So it is arising from the great progress in chemistry and physiology of the 19th century. Francois Mangdi, who was a French physiologist, studied the action of Nux omica on dog and showed that the spinal cord was the site of its convulsant action. Rudolf Buschmann founded the first experimental pharmacology laboratory at his house in Germany. He claimed that the effects of drug could be best be studied by isolating the substance. There was a scientist, Kim Edberg. He has shown that muscarine evokes the same effect of, on the earth as electrical stimulation of vagus nerve. First chair in pharmacology was established at the University of Michigan in 1890 under John Cabot Abel. His majorly accomplishment include the isolation of two epinephrine from adrenal gland extracts, isolation of histamine from pituitary extract, Preparation of pure crystalline insulin. Red Hunt discovered acetylcholine in adrenal extract in 1906. The two most important methods introduced early in the development of pharmacologic technique, the use of chymograph and the method of keeping an isolated organ alive. The chymograph was the first device used to document records of experiments. So Hendrik Magus first applied organ bath and isolated tissue method to a strip of the small intestine. Jean Franco's Hyman's work with a mammalian heart. Claude Bernard experiment with isolated nerve muscle preparations. And these were a great improvement for the experimental pharmacology techniques. Now, there are Indian pharmacologists who has played a major role. There is Sir Ramna Chopra, he has done MD, then SK Kulkarni, MN Ghosh, PC Dandia, and KP Bhargava. Experimental animals or experimental model should be selected, which follows three main objectives. First one is use of animal phylogenetically closer to a man or use of animal in which the process under investigation is as close as possible to that in man the anatomy, physiology, and the biochemistry are considered to be similar. So experimental animals are divided into three main categories. First one is rodents, second is non-rodents, and third one is miscellaneous. 
So rodents are mouse, rat, gonia pig, gurpil, hamster. Non-rodents are rabbit, monkey, dog, cat, pig. Miscellaneous is a frog, pigeon, zebra, fish, and chicken. So there is a process of drug development. First step is drug discovery and development, then preclinical research, clinical development, FDA review, and post-market monitoring. So in the drug development, there are three main stages. First stage is drug development phase in which heat and lead compound uh, are discovered. So in that we do target identification, target validation, lead identification, lead optimization. Then we do preclinical studies, which can be in vitro studies or in vivo studies. After the preclinical studies, we uh, give application for the IND. And after the getting approval from FDA, we move towards clinical studies, which is the third stage of drug development. And uh, in that, uh, we do microdosing study, which is a phase zero study. Then there are one, two, three, four phases of clinical trial. And after that, we do post-marketing surveillance, which is a useful for the drug monitoring. What is the scope of experimental pharmacology? So today, the experimental pharmacology has tremendously differed, differed from the conventional approach to molecular and biochemical aspects. The advancement in the field of electrophysiology, biochemistry, and molecular biology, and electronic or digital recording systems and software have increased and broadened the horizons of experimental pharmacology. The main task of pharmacologists in the search of the development of new medicine are to find out a therapeutic agent suitable for human use, study the toxicity of drugs, study the mechanism and site of action of drugs. For better healthcare and to provide more effective, safe and affordable medications, research is continuously being carried on the new chemicals. Experimental pharmacology involves the discovery of new drugs. Animals are not easily available nowadays due to animal welfare regulations and ethics. Animal experiments are expensive, time-consuming, and tedious. Thus, with the changing scenario, alternative methods of teaching pharmacology experiments have been developed along with advances in computer technology. There is animal behavior and terminologies related to it. So what is animal behavior? It is defined as the behavioral reaction of an animal to any internal or external stimuli. It includes abnormal appearance, allogroom, barber, behavioral stress, box behavior, chase of pursuit, chatter, cannibalism, coprophagy, ear wiggle, flank mark, gallop, infanticide, lordosis, mount, mutilation, nibble, nip, peep, pica, pillow erection, pop corning, puffing, pup killing, pup retrieval, recumbency, sniff, solicitation, squeak, and vocalization. The terminologies are explained in uh, further videos. What are the precautions we should take during the animal handling? So we should avoid overcrowding near the animal. We should keep a minimum noise. We should not agitate or aggravate the animal. It may become violent. We should not hold the animal too hard and we should keep a maximum ventilations. So handling of experimental animals, dosing of experimental animals, blood withdrawal techniques, anesthesia and euthanasia for small animals, CPCSEA guidelines, behaviors of laboratory animals are discussed in our further uh, videos on the YouTube channel. Link is provided in the description bo box. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please press the bell icon to get more informative videos and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.